Um, you know, he, he first came on my radar as he was a, a fighter a little bit younger than me coming through from Liverpool. He fought my brother a couple of times in the amateurs and, you know, he was... I knew I knew of him because I was I was in the same sport. You know, I was I was a boxing fan and I knew a lot of boxing the amateurs, so I knew of him then. You know, I'll be pretty honest with you, he's never come on my radar as an opponent. He's always been coming through behind me. Uh, he was a prospect turned over, but I think people are forgetting he's not a young prospect. He's thirty, so he has to, you know, he has to take that leap sooner or later. And you know, obviously, he, he maybe feels the time is now. You know, I didn't really choose the Anthony Fowler fight. I just called Eddie's bluff. It's what I've done. Um, I, I seen I seen the interview Eddie mentioning me for Fowler, so I jumped at it. You know, a bit a, a bit whether he whether he played his cards right or not. He, he mentioned me on an interview for Fowler, so I phoned my manager and said. Phone Eddie and make that fight. Um, to be brutally honest with you, yeah, you know, Anthony Fowler's never ever called called me out or called my name. He's only ever mentioned my name when he's been asked on an interview for Matchroom. So, you know, I know when a fight he's chased, uh, but it's a fight he's accepted. So, so be it. You know, you'll get what you wish for. I don't think he he fully wanted this fight. Um, I think uh, you know I'm, I've been in boxing long enough now. I know how. How the game works, and I know Eddie Love forced his hands. Eddie Love offered him a deal that he can't say no to, and you know once he knuckles down to it, he might come up with a game plan with Shane McGregor that they, they, they think he can win. You know he's a fighter; he should think he can win. But you know I'm telling you now he can't win. And as soon as I put my head on Anthony Fowler and get my teeth into training camp, you know I'm a level two. I'm, I'm, I'm a step too far for Fowler. I've got pressure as in public pressure. Um, I think I'll probably be a favourite. I'll be favourite with the public to beat him, and. You know, I'll probably be a favourite the bookmakers to beat him, beat him. And, you know, if I lose to Anthony Fowler, I'm finished. So there's pressure on me in that sense. There's also pressure on him. He stepped up once before and he lost. You know, if he steps up again now and loses again, where's, where, where does he go, really? Who's going who's gonna to touch him? And I'll touch, go back to what I said before. He's 30. He's not like a young prospect who can dust himself off and come back. He's 30 years of age and, you know, he loses to me now again. It's a long road back for him because he stepped up against Scott Fitzgerald. And lost, and he's going to step up again to me and lose. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm no Scott Fitzgerald. Yeah, I think he's he, he's improved. Um, I think he's got a very good jab. I think he's improved a bit under Shane McGuigan, but I think, um, I think he's a you know a three four round fighter in that sense. I think he's very very effective for three or four rounds with his jab, as long shots, and then soon as, can as soon as he he, he, he tires a little bit and, and runs out of ideas with that when he when he's not knocking people over. And then he reverts back to to what he to what he's always like. So um, I, again, I think you know he'd be competitive for three, four rounds, and then probably see the fight going one way after that. I don't know what the draw on whether the draw on me performance in Russia. Um, you know, I, I don't know whether they think they may be getting me at the right time, but they're, they're getting me at the wrong time. Honestly, um, you know, I was seventeen months out of the ring, and I should have beat the better kids in Russia than Anthony Fowler. And now, you know, I fought in May and back out in October. I'll be better again, and it's a step too far. Like I say, he stepped up once before against Scott Fitzgerald, and he lost. Um, and I feel it's going to be the exact same thing again. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good people to have in my corner of new again of new Anthony Fowler, probably his, his whole amateur career. Also, they've seen him come through, um, and I'll know him, I'll know him better than most. Uh, how I visualise the fight going again, I, I I think he's he's effective at what he does for three four rounds. Um, he's got a solid jab. You know, he's got a good straight one too. Uh, and then, you know, I'm judging him off, off an opponent looking at him. I think that's his bread and butter. His jab and his one too. I don't, I, I think he doesn't do nothing well in, up on the inside. And, you know, I think if you get up, get, get up on his chest, you're comfortable. So, uh, I think the fight just goes one way after four rounds. Yeah, it's a big, you know, it's a very big fight for Liverpool. We're both from Liverpool. We're both well-known. You know, he's well-known coming through the amateurs. He went to Commonwealth Games, went to the Olympics. Uh, I was obviously British champion, world champion. I'm from from a, a family of British champions, so you know we're both kind of big names around around, around the city. And again, you've got your people who you like and you dislike, and you know obviously a lot of people who like and dislike me in this fight. And you know I'm pretty sure he's got many in the same. So it's a big city, and and, and again there's, there's there's big big bragging rights. There's big pressure on the fight and. Again, I've been in these situations numerous times. He's been in this situation once and he lost. So he's got a lot to deal with. Once this fight's announced, he's got he's got a lot to deal with come these next 10 weeks. Yeah, 100% it's a must win. No, but whether it was Anthony Fowler or whether it was, you know, Bruno Chavez, whoever, whoever he may be, it's a must win for me. 
Um, and, and I'd say I'm coming off the back of a controversial loss, so I don't want two losses of back-to-back on my record. It's a must-win for me. But again, it's a fight that I know I turn up, I do win. And I say well, once I get my once this fight's announced, once I get my teeth into training and I switch on to Anthony Farley and but they're not believe me. Where did they think? Seen a little clip of Shane McGrigan, maybe think I'm looking for bigger fights. No, I know Anthony Farley's next and once I get switched on to it, you're gonna have the best Liam Smith. It it just depends, you know, it all it all depends how how it plays out, but it kinda of depends how he wants it to play out. You know, if he, if he, if he tries to come with his role that you know, what he done with Scott Fitzgerald and that, you know, he, he's barking up the wrong tree. I know Scott Fitzgerald and, you know, whatever way he went, ways, whatever way he wants to play it out, fire away. You know, he knows he can't, he can't sit at a top table on a press conference and give it to me like he give it to Scott Fitzgerald because I'll wipe the floor with him. And, you know, I'm, I, I'm, and he knows I'm not the type of person to sit and, you know, act the, act the bollocks in front of the cameras, you know, turn the cameras off to, you know, shut the, shut the doors and we'll soon see if you want to carry on that way. So, Whatever way he wants to play, he can play it. But I'm pretty sure he's nearly long enough now that he's not going to think I'm into all these games for cameras and TV. You've, you've you got what you wish for. You're saying nobody will fight you. You're saying, you know, you all, all all domestic names. People are still forgetting. My, last I looked on my passport, it's UK. I'm still the best 154 in Britain, and I'll prove it again October 9th.